Hey, you wanna hear a riddle? Sure. I'm not a train, but I have chains. I decide the path, but I don't move. Then, what am I? You are a lost kishi. <laughs> no. I am a router chain. So what? Hmm? What's the video about? That's it. Oh. <laughs> um, so if you want to see how with router chain in LangChain, you can switch the selection of your prompts to choose the most appropriate one based on your user ask or the task and execute it in your LLM application. Sure. Let's go. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, let's discuss what is router or better to say router chain developed by LangChain. Well, in your LLM applications, you might have multiple prompts that are defining multiple identities for a, a large language model, let's say GPT model. For example, you have a prompt that knows about a specific document that is retrieving from your uh, vector database or retriever that you have, let's say Azure Cognitive Search or your vector DB, or sometimes you, know, you have some other prompts that are planned to answer a specific question or some prompts that are planned to to lead towards executing a specific task, a function, or plugin. So based on what's going to be the initial input of the user, you have to decide which prompt or which route you have to go to call your large language model. And that's the moment we need a router, an automated router, that routes the user question to potential prompt that we're going to execute to answer that or do some task, OK? so. That gotta be challenging if you don't use router because you have to define first what's the type of the user question. You might ask another LLM to decide what's that type of question and then you, based on parsing that output, you have to decide which prompt you need to select. But with this implementation with router, what we're gonna do, we need a router chain and this is gonna be responsible for selecting the next chain, next step or next prompt that we're gonna execute. And what are the candidates what are the the chains that we can select them these are destination chains okay so we have the chains we can select and the router which gonna select the one that is appropriate based on user question so i moved ahead and i actually tried to code this inside google collab again you can have any python environment i just use this because i just need python and make sure you install openai uh, pip install and LangChain, that's all. So you import necessary packages needed. And as you can see here, what I'm trying to do, again, I will add the reference link of the code and documentation to the Discord channel on the references. And I add the link of the channel to the video description below. You can click on it and get access to the codes. So let's say here, I have a template that will be used when the user ask a physics question. And I'm saying that you are a smart physics professor, blah, 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 and this is how you need to answer. Another prompt is that when a user asks about a math question, I need to execute this. But I don't know what's going to be the user question to, to code this prompt. So I should have a dynamic code to select one of these prompts. You can have 10 or tens of them if you, don't, if you have more prompts. So that's why you, we need a router to automatically select one of them based on the user question. So what we're going to do, in order to define for the router, what are these prompts? I have to give it a name to my prompt, a description, so the router will use this description to understand, okay, when I need to execute physics prompt, the time that we, I'm going to answer a question about physics. And what's the prompt? Here's the prompt, which is coming from here. So the same thing for the math. Again, these are just simple prompts to answer a question. You can have more sophisticated prompts that they do not just answer a question. They do something. They call, let's say, rack retrieval. You you answer a question based on a source of documentation that you have, okay? So this is just an idea and a very simple demonstration, but it's still pretty powerful. And I'm going to use OpenAI as my LLM choice. 
and what i'm gonna do i go through all these prompts that i'm defining here one by one through this for loop i define them uh, with their given name with the prompt template coming from the top and then I, I create a chain to say that hey I'm gonna use an LL model and these are multiple prompts that I have added that using this for loop and that's my following shell which has got chain which is gonna be a conversational chain and the output is just a text and then from lang chain I import router chain router output parser because I'm gonna parse the output and I have multi prompt router multiple prompts I need to select from them so what I'm gonna do I grab all those prompt infos I define on the top I have them as a list here within this for loop I join them with having a, 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 a line space between them and when I define them when I have them in a the list then I define them in this multi prompt router template and then I receive that the input from the user I, I parse the output and when I have this router chain defined I'm gonna tell that hey I'm gonna use an LLM but which we define on the top is OpenAI and here I have multiple prompts and I have a router I define this here and that's it then what gonna be my chain my chain gonna be a multi prompt chain and the chain that I have defined is here on the top so I'm calling that from here and the destination chains which gonna be those that we define on the top and that's it so when I have the chain defined I enter my question inside this chain so let's say what is black body radiation to me that's a physics question right and look at that it automatically this select uh, um, decided that oh, okay that's a physics question I need to select that physics prompt which we define all the way on the top here and that's the prompt going to get executed and sent to my large language model and here's the answer let's try another one what is the first prime number greater than 40 such that one plus that prime number is divis uh, divisible by three that's obviously a math question and look at that math got selected and the input went to that math prompt not physics prompt and the answer is calculated for me another one what's the name of the type of cloud that rains obviously physics question and there you go physics got selected again that was pretty short video to give you the idea of what's the power of router chain and this was a very simple usage you might say that I don't need multiple prompt for this use case I can have them all in one prompt you can but think about this maybe this prompt was a rack prompt to let's say retrieve some documents from your source of data or maybe you have a prompt that calls another function of course a prompt cannot cause a function as we already talked about that how we can execute plugins based on a given prompt and output but think about uh, more complex scenarios that you have to answer specific questions, a specific task to get executed, and you need sort of a router to select one. Router chain and line chain would be a good choice to consider. So give it a try. Again, I will add the reference codes and all of that to the Discord channel. The link gonna be in the video description. And I'm going to create more videos about more complex scenarios that when you have multiple agents to chat with each other, execute some tasks, but at least let's start with the idea, make sure we're on the same page and please write down in the comment section what else you would love to know and any ideas for video topics, what you think is missing that needs further clarification, happy to support and create more content. So stay tuned until next video, bye for now. Do you know where is the magic that you're looking for? It is inside the work that you are avoiding. Dream big, my friends, believe in yourself and take action. Till next video, take a good care.